I want to continue our discussion of flow measurement by today looking at Venturi meters. A Venturi meter is basically a constriction or reduction in area and it enables us to measure flow rate in pipes by observing the pressure difference at the throat. And here is the relevant segment from the uh, reference manual which describes the variables here. And to analyze the Venturi meter, we can apply the Bernoulli equation. Now, for a horizontal pipe where the elevation is different, is constant, the Bernoulli equation reduces to P over gamma plus V squared over 2G equals constant. From which we can see that where the velocity is high, the pressure is low and vice versa. So if I think about the pressure distribution in a Venturi like this, then the variation of pressure in the pipe upstream here, assuming their energy losses are negligible, where the area is constant, the pressure is constant, then as the area begins to converge here, the velocity increases, therefore the pressure decreases, reaches a minimum at the throat where the area is a minimum, and then as the pipe gradually uh, expands again, the pressure recovers back to almost its original value. And if energy losses are negligible, which they are very small in a Venturi meter like this, we, we should have a perfect pressure recovery. The pressure recovers back to its original value. Now, we can relate the pressure difference at the throat here and the upstream pressure to the flow rate by continuing with the Bernoulli equation. So if I have station one upstream here and station two at the throat, we have the Bernoulli equation as shown. If the meter is horizontal, then the elevations Z1 and Z2 are the same, so they cancel out, leaving us with this equation. Next, I invoke continuity for an incompressible fluid, the volume flow rate Q is equal to A1V1, which is equal to A2V2. And for a round pipe, the areas are as shown. So combining these equations, we end up with this equation, that the volume flow rate Q is equal to the throat area multiplied by the square root of this expression, where P1 minus P2 is the pressure difference between the upstream section and the throat. And also we recognize that the areas are proportional to diameter squared, so we can in turn write this equation in this form in terms of the upstream and the throat diameters. Now, this equation assumes no energy losses. So let me do an example on that. So in this question, we have kerosene of specific gravity 0.85 flowing we're given the pressure difference between measured on the pressure gauge is 116 kilopascals. The density of water is given. The flow rate is most nearly which of these alternatives? So to solve this, we invoke the Venturi meter equation that I gave on the previous slide as shown here. And the area is pi by four d squared. So continuing on, I can substitute in the numbers. The diameter is 0.06 meters at the throat. The pressure difference is 116 kilopascals or 116 times 10 cubed pascals. The specific, the density of kerosene is the specific gravity, 0.85 times the density of water. So substituting in, the answer is 0.05 cubic meters per second and the closest answer is C.